Okay, so OnePlus 11 received a major update of Oxygen OS 14, which also includes Jan 2024 security patch, along with few other changes. So in this video, let's take a look at what all changes we get to see with this Jan security patch on OnePlus 11 series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here we have our OnePlus 11. First of all, let me show you the software information by going to About section. If you see here Oxygen OS 14, we all know now OnePlus 11 is running the stable builds of Oxygen OS 14, and the version is .401. If I show you the Android version along with the security patch, security patch is 5th Jan 2024 now. Few users received this update 2-3 days back but on my device I received an OTA update today. You can see the update size is also huge which is around 1.03 GB. It brings a lot of fixes and system optimizations. By the way before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. First thing soon you install this latest build you'll see now animations have become become more faster compared to initial builds of Oxygen OS 14. And this is not only me who observed, users who got the update first, they are also claiming that animations have become now more faster. And yes guys, soon you install, you'll feel the changes. Let me show you the change logs first and we'll accordingly talk about the changes done on this latest build. So if you see here under system it says we got new security patch update, improved system stability and performance and also they say extended battery life in some scenarios. Here my friend have already received the update two days back and he sent me the screen on time. Let me show you whether battery backup is improved or not. So here you can see he got around 8 hours of SOT with the first usage wherein 2% of battery was remaining. He's used some basic application, not much of gaming. Another screen on time you can see wherein he got 6 hours and 27 minutes, still the battery percentage was 27. So as per these stats, I feel battery backup is a lot improved on Jan security patch or the Jan build. Then later they fixed an issue wherein some users might not be able to switch between some apps in the recent task. I never had such issues. If you guys have ever faced, then hopefully this thing have been taken care by oneplus later they also fixed an issue wherein smart sidebar sometimes used to crash that also personally never happened with me and it works flawless on my device but one bad thing which i also told you guys in my previous video that now they have removed background streaming feature from the smart sidebar it was a kind of useful features for users who are not having youtube premium subscription or other music subscriptions but sadly this has also been removed from oneplus 11 and after that if you see a change log in which oneplus claims to upgrade the Roam utilization. Let me show you in the change logs once. So here you can see the last change log, which says upgrade Roam utilization and optimize app compression to improve function stability. So this is a change what they have done in the system. And as per my friend who is using the device, it also looks like they have improved on the RAM. Before the update, he used to get around 8.2 GB out of 16 GB, but now he gets around 9.4 GB after this update. So let's see if they have improved. I'll get to know once I start using the device. I'll soon drop an in-depth review and we'll keep you guys posted about the same thing. Also, I did notice a bit of improvements when it comes to performance part. I'm not considering CPU throttling because device still heats up and soon the device heats up, you can see a lot of throttling issues. I'll perform a test by keeping the device cooler and I'll keep you posted in the review video. But when you see the benchmarks, now single core scores 2033 and multi core scores are 5386. And we also performed wildlife extreme stress test where you can see the stability scores are 67.3%, best loop scores are 3702, and lowest loop scores are 2491. Battery drain was not that much, we only noticed 14% of battery drain. Temperature rise was around 11 degrees Celsius, FPS was between 12 to 27. So overall, this build looks promising and hope they have improved the performance in things like gaming. So gaming test, as said, everything will be coming in the review video. If you guys have any other questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. I'll take all your questions in the full in-depth review video. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.